Hello everyone. Today we're gonna see how we can create a tabular data or a relational data into Tableau. Creating the tabular data or relational data is quite a straightforward requirement, but a person who is beginner to Tableau or who is not that comfortable with the Tableau are still finding some issues to create a perfectly format tabular data. Now creating a tableau data is quite straightforward in another kind of visualizations tool, but not that straightforward into tableau. And that's why people face some issue with the tabular data. So today I each and every basic detail of how we can create a tabular data into tableau. Now, before jumping onto the video, let me show you what is a tabular data. So you can best visualize a tabular data as a data into an Excel format in an Excel. So basically any data, which is in the format of rows and columns is called a tabular data or a relational data. In most of the visualization, we prefer to give a user an option to download the tabular data or to visit the full data. User may need this data to validate something or to do some further analysis. So in, in Tableau, it's very common that in the last of our visualization or on some a new page, we'll just give the raw data to the user so that he, they can download it and they can further play with the data. Now, how to create a perfect formatted uh, tabular data as we have into Excel into the Tableau. So for that, let me just quickly connect with the sample superstore. Once we have connected with our data set, we are onto the sheet we can start dragging and dropping our measures and dimensions onto rows. Remember that to create a tabular data, you need to only use the rows shelf. So anything which you want in a raw data, you need to drag and drop onto the rows. So first of all, I'm dropping the customer name. After that, I'll take few location columns. I'll take the country, then I'll take the region. Now, remember, as soon as I have took the region, this particular customer got broken down into two regions. It's simply because this particular customer belongs to two region and that's why it's got broken down. Now, this is the first issue. When we talk about the tabular data in tabular data, things do not come in a merge format. Each row comes in an individual row or individual cell. But in Tableau, when a same customer belongs to two region, it got in a merged format, it got broken down into the two regions. It's not coming as two individual rows. So this is the first situation we encounter. If you have any unique ID with you, you can always put that unique ID into the front. It will resolve this issue. For example, in this data, the order ID is almost unique. So if I put order ID into the front, you can see each individual row got broken down into the individual row not into the merged format but still this is not the best option because sometimes we will find that same order id has multiple products and even the order id will get broken down so let me put some another fields as well i'm putting state and then i'm putting the category as soon as I put the category, you can see this order ID got broken down into two categories because in the same order ID, there are two different kinds of product of different category have been purchased. And that's why this order ID is got broken down into two. Also, there could be one more situation where your customer want a specific order or you want a specific order of columns. You don't want order ID to be front. You want order ID to be into the last. In this situation, also the things will get broken down. And even if it's a, uh, even if you try to put it into the front and if it's not properly a unique row, it will then also it will get broken down. So how we can resolve this situation. Okay. How we can resolve this situation where the things are getting broken down. Now to do that, we'll use a simple calculated field, which is or a simple calculation function, which is index function. So I'll just create a calculated field. If you do not know about the index function, uh, just to brief you, index function is very straightforward function. It's simply assign a serial number to each row. So first row will have a serial number of one, second row will have a serial number of two, then three, then four, then five, and so on. So it's simply assign a sequence. That's it, nothing else. It starts from one till the end of your data set. So just call the index function after calling the index function, you can name it anything. I'll just name it as serial number. 
do okay now once you have created this index function because it has a value a sequence one two three four it's a numerical value tableau will consider it as a measure as a continuous measure green pill and into the measure whenever something comes into a measure you drag and drop either into the front or anywhere it will always go at the last and it will get aggregated at some maximum minimum something like that it will try to create a visualization so you can see because it's a measure it's a numerical value it's trying to create a visualization uh, something which we don't want so always remember when you create an uh, serial number or you use an index function always convert them as a discrete value once you have converted it in a discrete value it will convert it in the blue pill that means now tableau will not aggregate it Tableau will not try to aggregate it or create visualization onto it. So after creating a serial number, always make sure that you convert it as a discrete. Once it's converted as a discrete, you can drag and drop in the first place. The first column should be the serial number. As soon as you drag and drop the serial number in the first place, you can see the one, two, three, four, the serial got generated and each column, each row has become an individual row. They are not merged anymore. Now, if you are satisfied with having a serial number in your data, if you want to show this serial number to your user, we are good to forward, we are good to proceed. If not, you can simply hide it by unticking this show header option. So if I untick the show header option, the serial number is still there in your row shelf, but it's not showing into the visualization. It's simply hidden. It's doing its work, but in a hidden format. So one issue of getting uh, getting rid of the merged column is resolved using the serial number function or the index function now the next problem comes is this abc plus placeholder how to get rid of this abc placeholder now the easiest way to get rid of this abc placeholder is use a measure into the last rows in the last column always use a measure so whenever you have a measure like sales profit sales anything always use that into the last first put all the dimensions and then put measures into the last that will be the best scenario so if i have put it all the dimensions over here i can put few more dimensions let's take an example of date because date is not very straightforward so if i drag and drop the order date over here tableau always drill up the date to the year level if you don't want the tableau to drill up it to the year level you can right click convert it into discrete uh, sorry convert it into the exact date it will convert into continuous exact date then you will right click again and then you will again make it as a discrete instead of these two three options what you can do whenever you are dragging and dropping a date and you want an exact date always double click onto the row shelf and type that date so if i type the order date instead of dragging and dropping the order date if i type the order date straightforward tableau will convert it as an exact discrete date so always whenever you want to use raw data a uh, date in a raw data always have a habit to double click type it hit enter and the exact date will be there now once you have put it all the dimensions required in the last always put the measures so i'm just dragging and dropping this measures either drag and drop this onto this abc placeholder or onto the text field so I'll drag and drop this onto the ABC. And now the profit is being written over here. Only issue with this is that profit header is not present. So how to get a profit header? To get a profit header, there's a trick. You can double click onto the column shelf. Now, remember this you need to do only for the last column. Create all the visualization just for the last column, drag and drop into that ABC. And then for header, double click onto the columns and in the single quotes or in a double quotes write profit whenever in tableau you use a single quote or double quote that means it's not a calculated field it's not referring to any of your columns it's simple static value which you are assigning a constant value called profit a constant value called uh, profit which you are assigning so simply put it in a double quotes and hit enter as soon as you put profit or whatever heading you want to give you can put it onto the double quotes and that will start reflecting over here one is the name whatever you have given in a double quotes and then the value which is a profit value 
obviously we don't want this double quotes so right click on it and hide this field label and you will get a proper profit heading now this needs to be done when you have only one measure left and you want to put it into the last if you have multiple measures like sales quantity profit you want to put all those measures then you need not to go for this hard coded heading option so what you can do i'll just remove this option now I want to put profit, sales, quantity, all those things into the last. So profit, I have already drag and drop onto the ABC plus holder that is being replaced. Other measures, I will simply drag and drop next to it. You just put your cursor, drag and drop, put your cursor at the last of profit. You'll get this box and then simply release your cursor and you will get profit quantity over there. Let me show you again. If I do control Z, earlier there was no heading but as soon as you put another measure next to it automatically tableau have assigned a profit a quantity heading how tableau is doing this tableau have automatically used the measure name and measure value from uh, columns whenever you connect with any database there is a two three columns which tableau always create one is the measure value so all the measures which you have sales profit discount in your data set all their values are stored into the measure values the value information is stored into the measure value and the measure names like profit sales quantity those names gets stored into the measure name so these two functions these two columns are default created by tableau whenever you connect with any database so tableau have used measure name which is giving the name of measure which is profit or quantity automatically tableau have put it into the columns because you are just using profit and quantity so tableau have automatically applied a filter that instead of all measures just take two measures profit and quantity the measure values is into the text so that the value of that measures you see into the text and the different measures are coming into this separate box so you need not to do anything tableau will automatically put this measure name into the column this into the filter this into the marks you just need to drag and drop any column any other measure column next to the previous measure column so again i'll just show you this time i'm dragging and dropping the discount next to the profit and you can see discount profit is there you can always change the sequence from here discount is up drag and drop below the profit and the sequence is changed other measures you can again drag and drop next to it or you can drag and drop onto this box in the required sequence i want sales onto the top so i'll put sales on the top and then profit then discount and then maybe quantity i'll just add over there and tableau will automatically apply those filters and it will show all the different measures over here so always prefer to have measures into the last and to get rid of this abc value so now the two -ish situations two major situations have been resolved we have made the individual rows into the single cell format or single row format and we have get the cotton grid in of the abc placeholder by putting proper measures and they will get a proper scroll bar over there now once you have done the structure it comes to the formatting how to change the formatting how to create a perfect border and all those things simply go into your formatting select the borders in the borders at a sheet level just select a required color border so i'm just selecting cell with black color pane with black color headers with black color row divider with black color okay and even a pane divider you can have in black color let everything you can select in a single same color and you can see a perfect border have been assigned also in in the raw data because you have a lot of fields so in the tooltip you are getting all those field options do not forget to disable the tooltip because you already have this into the raw data format there is no point of showing them into the tooltip so i'll simply remove them and even disable the tooltip from here now this is much better so that if your user move your cursor they do not get a long tooltip so remove the tooltip put the particular borders and half of your task is done now once we have formatted this table structure once we have applied the proper border the only part which some people want would be that header should be into different color or maybe to different shading or maybe as a bolder color in this situation what you can do is simply right click onto any header cell and click formatting do not 
do formatting directly from here you can achieve it from this color formatting as well but the straightforward option or the best option is right click onto the header which you want to format into different color and simply click onto the format it will directly take you to that formatting page and then you can select the shading of that header similarly these headers are different because they are coming from the measure name so you need to right click onto them as well and simply click select format in the format go into the color and apply the header as the same color in the columns header now we have these headers in a perfect blue colors they are different and the raw data is different and we have kind of achieved the same format as we have into excel this is a tabular data once this is done you can obviously use this at a dashboard and you'll get the perfect raw data so hopefully you have liked this video any doubt any concern please do comment and i'll get i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you